Hello everyone, my name is Xenia and today I would like to tell you something about our recent use case DSO Go as a chatbot uh, in our chatbot family. I'm working with the company Bayer since seven years now and they're in the area of chatbots and virtual assistants since the last four years. And in my daily life, I'm responsible there for the demand management of chatbots and virtual assistants as well as the pipeline management. So I'm getting to know many use cases and challenges from our employees, which is quite nice. I learn a lot and I really enjoy these exchanges with colleagues from different areas. One of those was DSO Go. Last year in October, we firstly started to talk about it. And the biggest challenge here we wanted to solve with the chatbot is that DSO, Dynamic Chat Ownership, as a new operating model is introduced to the company and this brings out a lot of questions to basically the whole company. Every employee would like to know where can I get started? What does it mean for me? What does it mean for my role? And the chatbot here should act as a body uh, responding to these questions right away based on a lot of material that has been prepared and is available in many locations, but in PowerPoints and text. And the chatbot is giving a human-like addition to this whole topic. We see from the results since implementation and go live two months ago that already by now we have over 55,000 sessions conducted by over 19,000 employees, which is quite a lot. And also the exception rate is quite high with over 80% of a satisfaction rate, um, provi providing the bot in multiple different languages and also in multiple channels, channels like Teams, the web and also the SharePoint. In the DSO Go chatbot, we are combining the formal approach of typical NLU bots together with Gen AI part. And especially the Gen AI part was giving us a lot of improvements in the user experience area. While we are able to, to share videos, common links, promoted topics and so on still via the NLU, the Gen AI part is allowing us to answer free text questions with generated responses right away. So without too much of a training, we are able to, to provide user-friendly, human-like responses in chat. And this is giving a, a huge um, push in the exception rate of the bot. So many users uh, are telling us that the conversations are really um, user-friendly and intuitive. Um, and this is all based on the training material we've provided. So how does the behavior change now with the DSO Go chatbot? Whereas we don't have so many agents or assistants working on the topic, we see that DSO Go becomes one of the closest buddies for many managers and in many meetings. So whenever there's a topic or a question about DSO, but also about how you set your goals in a DSO-like manner and so on, DSO Go can be embedded. So we see many colleagues having that open in their daily um, work days. So whenever there's a question, they will just open the tab, go to DSO Go, ask their questions or use it in Teams and having the questions right away answered and reflect that also. So conversations can be shared with colleagues, can be presented in meetings and we see that quite frequently happening. So managers say that DSO Go is part of every meeting that they conduct these days because there are so many questions about the operating model. <music> 